at long last, I have a Starforge PC. But, there's a difference. This is a custom edition free Ren Starforge PC. And if you're wondering why this is ripped, I ripped it off or you guys wouldn't see my address. But anyways, the point is, is that I saw Starforge PC advertising a special edition free Ren PC. And I was like, I had to get this. I'll have an image of what it looks like on screen here for you to see. But as soon as I saw it, I was like, I gotta get my hands on this because... For one, big fan of Free Run. Love it. One of my favorite anime of the last few years. But on top of that, you know, I have heard a lot of good things about Starforge. And I've always seen people speak positively about it. So I was like, you know what? If I want to get a PC, let's try Starforge. Let's see how it is. And on top of that, it is a limited edition Free Run. So, sure, I'll check it out for myself. Now, I want to be honest here. I am no professional unboxer. This is not going to be a, probably a, a high quality unboxing. This is probably not going to show every little detail, the whole process. But I do want to show what it looks like. And this is obviously going to be a very unprofessional unboxing. But uh, yeah, I, I just, I am excited. I want to share this all with you guys. See what it looks like on my desk as well. And yeah, so just let's get right to it. So I just opened the box, as you can see, and let's take a look at how the packaging is. I mean, looking at the size of the box, it is, it's a hefty box. Like, here's my hand for comparison. Don't mind the plushies in the background. That's my girlfriend's. But uh, anyways, it's a pretty hefty box. So let's see how the packaging is. I've been, I've seen people unpackage these before and say that the packaging is really good. But obviously, since this is a PC, you know, you definitely want the packaging to be good because things could be broken. So it seems like this is in, it has like bubble wrap on the side here, as you can see here. So to keep it like, you know, center for it doesn't rock much. But uh, it looks like I have another box I got to open here. So be right back. And so let us do the reveal. Here we go. Solid white as promised, as you can see there. We don't have a really good good look at it. But, as you can see, it's packaged pretty properly. It's got the plastic over it to protect it. So far from what I can see, it looks pretty good. Here, let me adjust my uh, quality here for you guys can see this better. It looks pretty good. Hopefully, you know, everything is working. So uh, let me get this out of the box and we'll see what it looks like. So as you can see here, this was the original box it was in. That was the wrapping in it. I see something down there actually. Is that wrapping? What is that? Let's take a look here. What is this? Oh, it's the, uh, it's the free run. I'm assuming this is like the, the pad that you put your mouse and keyboard on, okay. So it's in this box instead of this box. Okay, let me put this aside. So, anything else in here? Nothing. Okay, so here it is. I pulled it out of this box. So now, let me uh, go through the process of pulling this out of this box. So I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm kind of struggling with this box right now. Uh, the packaging, um, my goodness. Like, they, uh, they put this in extremely tight. Like, it is very, very tight. Um... Like I said, I'm no professional unbox or anything, but my goodness, like, they were, uh, they were serious about the padding here, which is a good thing. This is a good thing. I'm, I'm glad it's taken me a bit and a struggle to be able to uh, like, unbox this, but, uh, my goodness, it is very difficult to get this bad boy out of the box. So anyways, let me try to finish, you know, getting this out. Okay, so this is what's left in the second box. So we have this down here. Which uh, looks like the Star Forge uh, cables. I'm assuming this is probably cables or something to a free room. We're gonna, you know, set this bad boy here. Let me uh, adjust the quality for you guys can see. And then we got this. What is this? Is this also the cable? Wait, no. This might be the cables. Let's see. Is this cables? Yes, it is. Okay, we got cables in here. Okay, let me set these back in here real quick. And so, what is this? Uh, oh, what is this? Oh, it's a... Okay, it's a step instructions. Okay, okay. And then we got our power cable. Okay, so we got every all our cables here. Let me set this here. And here is the PC. Unplastic. Here, let me... Uh, 
just the quality of the focus of this camera, if you guys can see. So, it might be hard to tell, I don't know. But, as you can see, that is Stark, Fern, and Free Ren right here, as you can see. This is a PC, here's the PC ports in the back. Obviously, I've yet to take out the top here or the bottom, but spinning this bad boy around, you can see there's packaging inside there. You can see the uh, Starforge logo here. Let me adjust the quality for you guys. Starforge logo with Free Ren right there. Absolutely amazing, honestly. Really amazing. And then we got this over here, which I got to move out of the way. So let's uh, let's get this top off. Let's see what this looks like, guys. Guys, you gotta look at this. Look at this. Like, okay, let me adjust the quality here for you guys can see. Look at that. This is... Oh, man. Oh, that was me popping bubble wrap. Forgive me. I don't know how the audio is gonna sound there, but here, wait, let me adjust the resolution here. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. That looks so good. Like, look at that. Like, look at that. That looks so good. It looks so freaking good. Look at the top here, like I don't know if you can see it because of the lighting, but like it has like the magic symbol going on on the top. Like, oh, that's so good. And then like here's the front, a clear front look. And then like you have the decal, like decal right here on the side. Here, let's look at the, uh, let's look at this side. So as you can see here, once I get this stuff out, like the, you know, the protection, we're going to be able to see the inside, the innards of the PC, but look at this. Oh, man, this looks so good. It looks so good. And then here is the back of the PC, what it looks like the ports we're working with. So, let me adjust this. So, we have a bunch of USB ports, Ethernet cord. We got, you know, our different ports here, power supply. Looks overall, you know. We got the ports we need. Is this, uh, yeah, okay. Wow, this is a beefy PC. Look, hand comparison. Look at the hand comparison. How beefy of a PC this is. My goodness, this is a huge PC. Okay, so let's, uh, let's set this bad boy up. Let's get it on my desk. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. There was this as well. This was also in it. I almost forgot. Let me, uh, let me get this out. This, as you can see here, uh, it has protection coating on it. I'm assuming this inserts into this somehow. I don't know necessarily how to do that, but you can see it's free run. I'll have to figure that one out in just a bit. Okay, so guys, we have a bit of a problem. Now, it's not a bad problem, and it's not necessarily fully the PC's fault, but... Um, as you can see, uh, it's it's haphazardly put on my desk, and the reason for that is because uh, just take a look at how massive this beefy boy is. Like massive, like it is, it's huge. Like it is so huge. Like here's the desk, here's the pad and stuff with the mouse and keyboard, and here's the free run pad as you can see here that came with it. But uh, it is such a wide and long PC and tall at that that it does not fit on top of my desk. The only place I could actually put it would be down below where my other poor black PC is right there. feel really bad for it. But um, basically, yeah, the only place that this can go is probably down there, which is kind of sad. It's depressing because, you know, it's, I mean, take a look. It's it's beautiful. Like, I mean, here, I'll try to adjust the, uh, the focus here for you guys. But like, you could see even Free Ren back there. Like, you know, it lights up with the lights and stuff. It's just... You have like a light right here that changes. There was a remote control that came with it as well that, you know, could change these colors, I'm assuming. But it's beautiful, man. Like, look at this. It is, it's outright gorgeous. Like, this is a really beautiful, beautiful looking PC. I mean, I really, really wish I had a bigger desk. I mean, I honestly had no idea that this PC would be this massive. And once again... This isn't the fault of Starforge. I'm glad to have a massive PC because it means there's like breathing room, like airflow within the PC. I, I, I'm fully fine with that. But holy crap, I did not expect it to be that massive, which is, like I said, it's sad because I'm probably going to have to set it on the floor, which means I'm not going to be able to like have this visually right here and all that. If anyone has any ideas, honestly, let me know. And if you're wondering about this, 
this is, uh, yeah, it's a bookshelf right here. So that's definitely not going to work leaning in on that. But yeah, man, um, overall though, beautiful PC. Absolutely beautiful and stunning. Probably the best looking PC I have ever owned. And I just want to say, Asmongold, Starforge, good PC. You guys got good taste, at least when it comes to the anime department. As someone that's been making anime content for like 10 years now, you seriously have done a fantastic job with this hookup here. I can't speak for all of your other PCs and stuff like that, but I will say that this in general, what you have going on here, I would like more of this. Like, I really would love to see more anime-themed PCs. Oh, man, this just, it looks so good, dude. So, anyways, I'll leave the video at that. There is the PC setup. Here, let me uh, give a uh, brief look, adjust the focus. There's the PC, as you guys can see. There is the mouse pad, or the, the pad for the keyboard and stuff. Don't mind the, the mess with the mouse and stuff, but... Uh, it works, as you can see here. Just gotta, gotta hook this bad boy up and all that and do through all the settings. But yeah, I like the way this looks. This looks so freaking good. So this is the final setup. For instance, I have it a part of my backdrop now. I love the RGB lights, the rainbow color, how you see like the free rim logo, like how it's lighting up. It looks so freaking beautiful on top of that like uh currently with this video now with the audio and stuff i'm recording through the pc so this is my proper setup and mic and as you can clearly see it's working properly i tried a few games on it just to see if it would work with gaming and they weren't like graphically intensive but i tried like dvd out i tried dragon ball xenoverse 2 out and i tried out elden ring and one of those out of those three is obviously a little bit more intensive than the other two but still it it works great i mean i had no problems running any games um it's extremely quiet i mean look i'll, I'll be quiet and just listen like, it's extremely quiet. It's right next to me. I don't hear loud buzzing of fans. Um, I was able to properly adjust the lights and stuff to change the colors if I wanted to, but I think the rainbow color really just suits the, the setup of the free run PC. On top of that as well, I did install two SSDs. Like, for instance, um, there was an SSD I had to plug in through the actual battery, like the SATA SSD, and then a regular one that went onto the motherboard. And... Pretty easy, very simple, very straightforward, didn't really have any troubles with it whatsoever. On top of that as well, the, um, I guess, yeah, everything is working right with it. Like, I, I really don't have any complaints whatsoever. I mean, I guess, like I said, the only thing I could really talk about in more of a, I, I guess in a bad way, but it's not really a negative, is just how large it is. But I guess, like I said, this is a good thing because of aero and dynamic. I think that's the word. Like, you know, it just has more airflow. It, it, it get proper airflow throughout all the parts. So I think it being bigger is a good thing. It just, for those that were expecting maybe a small desktop or whatever, like a tower, this is definitely not going to be small. It really isn't. But besides that, like I said, it's it has a lot of plugins. It has like a bunch of USB ports and stuff. I mean, like I said, I, I legitimately have had no problems with it. Completely simple setup as well. Uh, if you're wondering about how much storage it has as well, if you're curious, it was one terabyte. That's what it came with, and I installed two other SSDs to it, so yeah, I, I have a lot more storage now, but if you're wondering what it base comes with, that's it. So uh, yeah, this is what it looks like, and as you can see clearly, definitely not false advertisement. It literally looks exactly like it does, you know, coming out of the box. Um, no scratches, nothing like that. The only thing that um, I don't know what to do with is this. This was the wall art that you guys saw earlier in the video, and... Um, at the time when I bought this, I, I didn't read, this is my fault, this isn't Starforge's fault, but I didn't read, I thought this was like a plate or something to put into the PC, but apparently this is wall art, and I'm gonna be honest with you, there's nothing to put it on the wall, so I'm assuming I'm gonna have to get a frame or like those sticky things to put on the back of it to stick it to a wall, which to be honest with you, I'm a little bit too lazy to do, so yeah, I, I guess, you know what, this is a critique, you know what, Asmongold, if you watch this video, or Starforge, or anyone that works at Starforge watches this video, my recommendation, this once again, you don't have to, but a small little critique here. With the wall art, add some form of sticky patches or something to stick it to a wall, and I think everything would be perfection. Now, once again, I don't know the intricacies of potentially packaging that with stuff and all that, but I mean, 
and literally everything else is fine. That's the only thing I would say and recommend to be added, especially with this type of bundle. But anyways, I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching this unboxing. I know this wasn't like a completely professional unboxing. You know, I know there's probably a lot of people that are going to probably unbox this PC and other Star Forge uh, PCs in the future that are way better than me. But I never tried to act like I was super professional or just like uh, trying to be like an unboxing channel. But I guess it feels a little bit more authentic when, you know, it's just someone opening the box up that, you know, just casually is wanting to see what's inside and share it with all of you. You guys but uh anyways thank you so much for watching be safe stay healthy love you guys chibi out